Okay, so we're going to start working with loops now. So let's create a new session to start doing that. So file, new session. We talked about these. We're going to keep the settings like we discussed last time. Changes to stereo mix. Hit OK. And we're going to call this session 2 this time. Okay, and now we, we have a session that's just a basic setup here. I've expanded the edit window, so that's all we see. And we're going to do a couple things to set it up to prepare to put the loops in there. So first off, I am going to go to Track and Create Click Track so I can have a click track. Okay, And part of that's because when you're working with loops, everything has to be based on our bars and beats and our grid and obviously the click track. So I've put the click track in there and I hit play and there you go. 120 beats per minute. That's the default. We talked about before how to change the tempo. We'll do that in a minute as well. Okay. But we're going to leave it there at 120 right now. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, I want to make sure I'm in bars and beats. There we are. And then I want to also make sure I'm in grid mode. Okay. So everything's set. So now in Pro Tools, the one of the ways to pull loops into your session and to audition loops, and one of the best ways to do it, is in Window Workspace. Okay, so if I go to Window Workspace, this is kind of a browser for my whole system, just like the Finder in Mac or Windows Explorer in Windows. The difference is is there's some features, there there are some features in here that are more specific to helping you out in Pro Tools. And some of the features include being able to audition your loops. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the loops folder that I created from all the loops that came with the Pro Tools installation. So I put those on this Audio 2 drive, and there it is, Loops PT. So if I open that up, I can see all the loops here. If I double click on Loops PT, it's going to open another window with the contents of that folder. You see how those are identical there. Okay, so now I can actually exit out of that other window, and now I can just worry about the contents of that folder. Okay, so now I'm going to open up one of these genres of music, and we'll go into drums under jazz and new jazz. Okay, and I can audition one of these loops. Okay, and you'll notice that because this green button, this green metronome button is on, even though this says it's 80 beats per minute, it is actually being sped up to 120 to match the tempo of my session. So if I take this off, you'll see how... Okay, that's the original tempo of the loop. Okay, so if I turn this back on, it's going to be very important as I bring loops into my session that everything stays the same tempo. So we're going to bring this one in to start. Okay. And there, it's uh, converting it and everything, analyzing it. It's turned on the elastic audio. I'm hitting T here to zoom in a little bit. And now we listen to it nice and fast. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to change our tempo because that might be just a little too fast for what we want to do. Okay, but you'll notice that if we pull the volume of this down, hear that click track? they are perfectly locked in tempo together. And you can even follow one, two, three, four. Okay, you follow the the bars and beats there, everything is locked in. Okay? That's one of the, the benefits of making sure you have that green button on and that we have uh, have our click track on grid mode and bars and beats and everything. Okay? So if we go to window and transport, now we can turn off the conductor and adjust our tempo, okay? Okay, so we can go back to its original 80 beats per minute. Or we can make it a little faster. Let's get it to 95 there. Okay, so nice little swing and feel. Okay, if we want, if we want to, we can keep that going while we audition more loops. Okay, so we'll turn that back on, and we're going to find that window again by going Windows Browsers. 
is my loose PT window. Okay. Now from here, I don't have to stay in jazz. I can go to another style. Maybe pop rock. Let's try some piano. Electric piano clav. Okay, and because the green's on, it's going to match the tempo. all these different kinds of loops you can go through there okay you can go through there and audition these but we're going to go ahead and grab this first one you know once it gets going there okay and you notice that we have a two bar loop and a four bar loop here so it's just playing the first two bars of this road track Okay, we'll go ahead and stop that. You'll notice if we select this, we have the full four bars selected. Okay, but watch what happens now. Our drum loop stops playing. Okay, that could be a nice little dramatic thing, but we want to actually expand this so this whole thing is maybe longer than 10 seconds long as well, and longer than four bars. So. We're going to, in just a moment, we're going to go through some of the edit tools you can use to manipulate these loops. So we'll be back in just a second.